Shalom. Call Lime Lai Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim and Kwan Kadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson entitled Strive for Truth Unto Death. So this was a message that I had shared with a few people on um, Tuesday, last Tuesday. And I saw a note, let him have the long hair, no need to beat a dead horse, we're moving on. And that was on Tuesday, and the spirit said, fall back. And then I see Elder Apostle Gabar's message on Wednesday, just yesterday. So I'm getting ready to play his message. This is amazing. The spirit does not lie and search every aspect of our day-to-day -day lives and what's to come. Let's play this. Brothers, this is a business. Now when you, let's look at Esau's business. When you're hired to work on Esau's business, there's a certain dress code you got to follow. There's a certain look you got to have. All right. There's a certain standard you got to meet. Well, it's the same thing in this thing of ours, brothers. We're working for Yahweh Bar Shai. We've been hired to do a job by Yahweh Shai. We've been hired to tend over Yahweh Shai's business, which is his father's business. So there's a certain look we got to have. There's a certain production value we got to produce all right there's a certain code we got to follow it's no different man now in the live video that i did the brother from england uh he, he goes his channel is uh hebrew israelite yawada he made he made a comment which was so true he, he said um we have to have the proper attire to do the lord's business and then the brother from, from D.C., Elder Madagan, he came on, on the same live video, which shows you it's all spiritual. He came on the same live video and he said, it's funny that, that uh, Jake will uh, follow the standards of Esau's business to a T because they don't want to get fired. But when it comes to the Lord's business, they're slack. That's got to change, man, especially in Great Millstone. That's got to change. The same way you have respect to Esau's business and you follow the guidelines, whatever they may be, to keep to, to, to stay on that job, is the same way you gotta have respect to the Lord's business. Now we ain't the ones paying you. Yahweh Shai is the dole master. Yahweh Shai is the paymaster. Okay? He's the paymaster. He will pay you. You get paid by him. Alright? So again, that's the attitude we gotta have towards the Lord's business. Which means when Esau hires you, he makes sure you follow his code, his dress code. You make sure you, you're up to uh, the standard on his job. You're producing. You're doing the job the right way. If you're on Esau's job, you don't know how to do the job. What, what do they do? They have the supervisor show you how to do the job. Then you learn how to do the job, and then you continue doing the job. If you can't do the job, you get fired. Well, it's the same thing with the Heavenly Father, the same thing with his business. What is the job? The job is to learn these scriptures and to teach them correctly, as it is written, rightly divided in the word of truth. That's our job. Our job is to learn these scriptures, master these scriptures, right? And to, to produce, okay? The Bible is known as the sword of the Spirit, right? 
That's what it's known as, the sword of the spirit. Well, guess what? We got to master that sword. So when we go into a spiritual battle, we're ready. Whatever may come our way, we're ready because we have mastered that sword. We know how to use it. We know how to use it to attack. We know how to use it to defend. Just like a real sword. Okay? Hey, the scriptures tell us that, you know, the men back there, they were, they were um, excellent swordsmen. You know what proves that? Peter. When Peter pulled out the sword and he uh, cut the ear of uh, Malchus, you know, after the, uh, the soldiers came to arrest Yahweh what does that show you? Peter was very good with that sword. He was excellent with that sword for, for, to, to be able to chop a guy's ear off like it was nothing. Okay? So the point I'm making is this is the sword of the spirit. This knowledge is truth. It's the sword of the spirit. So we got to be masters at this sword. That's the goal for us to be masters at these scriptures. Masters at the breakdown. Masters with the history, the knowledge. We got to be sharp, man. I'm telling you, we have to be sharp. Yahweh Shimi Asha will not accept anything less. Matter of fact, let me share a scripture, scripture with you. Matthew 5 and 48. Matthew 5 and 48, it says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. So that was Matthew 5 and 48. There's another scripture where it says, Strive for the masteries. What are the masteries? Mastering these scriptures. Like I said, this is the sword of the Spirit. We master this sword anytime we go into battle, a spiritual battle. Because remember, we're at war, right? We're at war. Anytime we go into battle, we're ready. Whatever may come our way, we're ready. We're armed with these scriptures. Okay, we're armed with, these, with this knowledge, with this truth. And that takes rehearsing over and over and over again. Repetition is the father's skill. Going through these breakdowns. Knowing them cold. Okay? That's the task at hand, at hand brothers. Okay, that is the task at hand. That's why you've been called. Time to get serious, man. No more bullshit. No more game playing. All right, we're almost at the final stretch. We're almost at the home run. Yahweh is right around the corner. We ain't got time to play around. We ain't got time to bullshit. All right. Okay, so again, I guess I'm still in the same spirit I was when I did that video this morning. So, you know, plus I was listening to Bukwa Mafi He just went off the air and he was firing me up. So I said, man, I got to do, I got to say some more words on the subject. But again, in, 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 in departing from this video, <laughs> it's time for us to sharpen up, man. And you notice I keep saying us, we. Because that goes double for me. I'm saying it. It's time for us to sharpen up, man. No more bullshit. All right? Understand what we're involved in. This is a business. This is the Lord's business. The same way you're on Esau's business, whatever you're doing, it may be a carpenter or whatever business you're doing for Esau. There's a certain way Esau wants you to be on his job. And if you don't comply, you get fired. They don't play around with you. There's too many people out here looking for a job. They won't play around with you. They'll fire you like like that and replace and you will be replaced while well, it's the same thing with the lord's business don't think you're you're irreplaceable okay the lord will get rid of you if you don't want to comply the lord will get rid of you and get somebody that will comply that will only be too happy to comply and do what he's told so you think about that man all right so with that on to the next one wow I love this, brother. <laughs> but you're saying, you know, let them have the long hair. We're moving on. No need to beat a dead horse. That's not the spirit of the Lord. Every man that I've met with long hair like a woman, they have a very perverse spirit on them. They either like to smoke weed or they love to mess with other men's wives or they're into like multiple gods or that comedic stuff where they believe in worshiping our ancestors or the 
quote unquote, the gods. They're very perverse, rebellious, and most of them that I've met don't even believe in Yahawashai. And a good example are the so-called Yah brothers or the Yisraelites. These men are bugged out. So that, that long hair, there's a spirit behind them. It's not just the, the hair alone. This thing is deeper than skin deep. The spirit within us causes us to reflect on the outward man. Where is that at? That's that's um first of all, let's 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 go here first. <clears throat> I think it's Jeremiah forty eight and ten. Jeremiah forty eight verse ten. Cursed be he that doeth the work of the Lord deceitfully, and cursed be he that keepeth back his sword from blood. So the word applies to these men that are rebellious too, that are looking like a wild man, that don't want to comply with what the Lord said. See? So let's go from there to Sirach 4 <clears throat> and 28. So there's a spirit behind re rebellion. Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. <clears throat> Let's read that again. So the spirit answers the mail. When we don't know what to do or how to proceed. But if our spirit is vexed for truth's sake, the Lord answers. Strive for, strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. Be not hasty in thy tongue and in thy deeds slack and remiss. See? So our tongue, if it's loose or not bridled, can say the wrong things out of emotions. Be not as a lion in thy house, nor frantic among thy servants. Cool, calm, and collective patience, prudence, emotional content. And I think Elder Apostle Gabar goes into that a lot. Emotional content, restraint, exercising restraint. <clears throat> Let's go here. Sirach 5, verse 10. Be steadfast in thy understanding and let the word be the same. Let's go to verse 9. <clears throat> Winnow not with every wind and go not into every way. So doth the sinner that have a double tongue. Wow. This is one of my favorites right here too. Surat 5 and 11. Be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. So it's not about us in the flesh, what we think and what we feel. What's wrong with a man having hair like a horse? Well, on a fleshly carnal level, I don't see the issue in, in the flesh, but through the spirit, I know that there's a dark demonic energy driving that man to want to look like a woman. It's a spirit of rebellion. This is deeper than what we feel or think or what I believe. I believe I can fly all BS. What is the spiritual essence of the reality in this truth, 
What is the message from on high? What is the will of the Father? Sirach 5, verse 10. <clears throat> be steadfast in thy understanding and let thy word be the same. Be swift to hear and let thy life be sincere and with patience give answer. If thou has understanding, answer thy neighbor. If not, let thy hand, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. So the answer is in the word, not our opinion or our feelings. So that is a bridle over the tongue. If thou has understanding, Answer thy neighbor, if not, lay thy hand upon thy mouth. Honor and shame is in talk, and the tongue of a man is his fall. We have to bridle our tongue to be prudent in our speech, speaking according, <laughs> speaking according to this word. I think that was the point right there. Yeah, let's go here to one more. Galatians 5, verse 9. A little, I'm losing my voice. A little leaven, leaven if the whole lump. So when we just ignore one part of the doctrine, then it creates a small hole that just gets expanded bigger and bigger and bigger. Just like the Pharisees, they would strain at a net and swallow a camel. So this thing blows up just by allowing something that's that's abominable in, which pertains to the doctrine primarily. Let me look at this word leaven. So iniquity is iniquity. Sin is sin. And if we have the ability to clean it up, or affect it, then we exercise that, that ability to do so. <clears throat> Leaven comes from the Greek. Strong's G 2219, Zume. Zume. Wow. As if boiling up. Metaphorically, inveterate, mental and moral corruption viewed in its tendency to infect others like that ya 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 spirit see so it it starts off as a small infection but festers and grows and spread well if that doesn't matter let's find something else that does not matter Let's dismiss this too. Next thing you know, it's a slippery slope. And our foot will slide in due time. Why not eat pork? I've always eaten it. What's wrong with growing my hair down my back? My father did it. So did his father. Long as I'm not hurting anybody. You see, we begin to justify what we don't, what we want to do. That goes against the scriptures. Shalom.